Mako Vanen. Welcome back to a place you may remember, or you may not. A place run by a man who wishes he was an elf, otherwise known as a ruin. This place has been gone for quite a while due to an ir in real life move in with two of his friends. But now, the return of said streamer has arrived. Welcome back to Ruin's channel. Prepare, because changes have arisen. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As I said before that awesome intro to the video, um, the move went pretty well, um, uh, as you can see. Um, we're currently inside the brand new gaming studio, um, which you guys will see the details of in a second when I play the tour that I actually recorded a few hours before I'm recording this uh, with my one roommate Hamilton and my other roommate Andrew makes a cameo appearance. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get to that tour in a second. Um, but before we get to that, um, I quickly want to tell you guys that after the tour, I'm going to be quickly covering a bunch of the changes that are coming to the stream on Twitch. Um, and uh, there's quite a lot, believe it or not. Um, and uh, I'm very excited about everything. Um, everything from aesthetic changes to changes on how we run things to even changes financially in relation to gaming and streaming um, and it's all good changes and I think you guys will be excited but before we get to that let's get on with the tour all right everyone thus begins the house tour now we have to begin the house tour where every house starts at the front door we're gonna see you guys what everyone will see coming to the front door which is a nice sign speak friend and enter straight from the Lord of the Rings right there as you all know, the elvish word for friend is melon. So, make sure you say that when coming over. And now here is the kitchen. And Hamilton is having... Just tea, thank you. Yes. Uh, we have a very nice kitchen here. We have our fridge right here. We have... Uh, actually, can this zoom out, Hamilton? It seems like it's zoomed in. No, it's out all the way. Is it? Nope, that's in. Okay, so it is out all the way. Never mind. All right. So, we have a stove, we have a microwave, we have a toaster, we have a speaker, we have butter, because butter, and we have knives, watch out for those, and we have a sink, if anyone wants to take a bath in the sink, you're welcome, we have, <laughs> we have uh, pots and pans, and we have cabinets, lots of cabinets, and a Hamilton, <laughs> <laughs> pretty and much, within these cabinets, there are cups and mugs. Yeah, and you should all remember the mug that's hiding back here, because I've had it in my streams before, my Prancing Pony mug. Which I do believe you have one too, right Hamilton? Oh yes I do. So I just move the Gigi mug, if anyone knows what this one is. There was the light, that's a custom here, Lons is a custom here, this one doesn't matter. This is my version of the Prancing Pony mug. Very nice. I think that's more of a pint. <laughs> It comes in pints. <laughs> I'm getting one. <laughs> oh, and uh, we have a random cup for the uh, the Lego movie as well, by the way. A little animation there. I believe that's Andrew's. <clears throat> that's oh. another thing. We also have another roommate named Andrew Bishop. He has the Batman mug, the Transformers, and the Star Wars collectible mugs. Yep. But you guys will meet him soon. Um, and, uh, yeah, we got some nice... Uh, Wine glasses here, some shot glasses down there. Yeah, so we get we're coming along nicely. We're eventually going to be buying uh, stuff for baking and whatnot, um, but that's coming down the line in the future. Uh, we are going to be hanging these up in here soon as well, which this is an actual rock from the catacombs of Rome, thanks to my grandparents when they went down there. We obviously have a thermostat, um, and as we all are Christians, we do have picture Jesus right there. Um, and now we will continue the tour. So, we, 
into the movie room. Now the movie room is also doubles as the living room with our kitchen table. Uh, is eventually going to be full of movie posters. All, most of those, actually pretty much all of them except for one, actually two. So all but two of them are currently at a local Hobby Lobby getting frames, which is going to be coming down the line. I'll probably do another video or tour on stream of that uh, when we get those in and framed and all on the walls. But for now, we currently have this one up, which is also Andrew's, which is a collectible... What would you call this? A collectible vintage picture. Yes, from 1992, I believe, which is actually, it, it, even though it's on the wall, but on the back of it, it actually has like the authentic, like, uh... Uh, Lucasfilm Arts, like, saying, saying, pretty much saying it's an authentic, like, collectible piece. Yes. So that's a definite, a definite, uh, you know, show-off point of the house right there. And then this is our living room. We got a nice kitchen table here. Nice wooden table. Nice chairs around it. We got a nice pantry over here. We got the bunch of, ignore the mail, but we got our nice Wi-Fi router right there, which I actually have better internet than I did when I was at my dad's place. And the pantry always has its snacks when it comes to anime binge watching, or movie watching, or TV watching. Oreos. Oreos. <laughs> Gotta love them Oreos. Mm -hmm. Alright, and now, Hamilton, if you want to show off your movie collection, you are more than welcome to. <laughs> more than happy. <laughs> <laughs> so Hamilton has probably the most movies of the three of us, most as you can see. Most movies for any kind of nerd that would have anything from Lord of the Rings... To Harry Potter, to the Hobbit collection, to even the most vintage of vintage of VHS Star Wars trilogy, which is quite the accessory to have. There's plenty to see from here, but there is more. There is more, but wait, there's more, as the old the old uh, saying goes. And here we have D we have DVDs in TV series, going from the Avatar series, the Batman animated series, to Batman Beyond. We have Dragon Age, Mass Effect, Halo, and Teen Titans, SpongeBob, Robot Chicken, and even the Three Stooges themselves. We also have a few documentary movies and old DVDs from times of 90s to present. And then... And there is still more. For my fellow weebs, we have anime. And for people who love our American anime, I also have Ruby. And by the way, for season 8's ending... We'll go on from another topic. But for now, thank you for admiring my collections. Mm hmm And for the TV setup, we got... Actually, Hamilton, this is your TV, so you want to... <laughs> this <clears throat> is a 55 Samsung Curve TV. This was one of the top of the line when it first came out, and it's cost me a good two grand, but it's one hell of a TV. Yep, and we got a nice uh, new TV receiver, which I actually bought about two weeks ago. Um, and... Uh, we got a random Tanjiro figure right there, uh, protecting the clock. Um, right, hit that snooze button. And uh, other than the random printer over here, well, thanks to my dad, uh, we have pretty much, we got a nice uh, 4K Blu-ray uh, DVD player right there. And a nice sound system, also thanks to my dad. And uh, it works pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. And then here we have a nice back patio, which we'll eventually probably put a grill out there and whatnot. And uh, nice curtains. And then you can also see we do have some decorations up. That are not getting framed, so we've got my Godzilla stuff. I was originally going to put my dad's studio back at the old place, but now they're up above the curtain. So we got King Ghidorah over there, Godzilla fighting King Ghidorah, and then Godzilla. That's pretty nice. Um, eventually, like I said, uh, this wall back over here, um, and this wall right over here, and this wall. This wall will be covered in movie posters. The back wall especially is going to be nice because we're going to have pretty much three sections. We're going to have Terminator over here. We're going to have Star Wars in the middle and Lord of the Rings on this side. And you want to tell them the reason behind putting them that way? Because they're probably the most, I think, priceless of our photos. Terminators specifically are my vintage and my favorites, and those actually come back all the way from the 80s. So those are rare but beautiful pieces. Mm -hmm. Expensive, too, that we're getting them framed in some very expensive frames. Yeah, the guy Hobby Lobby was geeking out over the Terminator posters. <laughs> <laughs> and we just wanted to make this basically like our favorite movie wall. So we're going to have basically a Hobbit, a Lord of the Rings, a Return of a Jedi, Terminator, and Terminator 2 movie right here. Our top five, basically. And yes, you want to tell them why we're putting them in that order, though. So, the specific order we were thinking of was since we only have the one Star Wars poster, so the Star Wars 
Star Wars will be the centerpiece, kind of. And then basically, the Hobbit from the prequel of Lord of the Rings, which Lord of the Rings would go next to it, Star Wars, and then the Terminators look over here because of during the night. Because in Lord of the Rings, when Gandalf comes back from the Battle of Helm's Deep, he says, look to my coming on the, on the fourth light of the Midsummer's Eve at dawn, look to the east. So the east, the dawn, will be over here for Lord of the Rings, and at night on the west will be the Terminator posters. We wanted to make it kind of like symbolic in a, in a I guess in a geeky way. <laughs> Yep, so, and that's, and, uh, sorry about guys, I should have had the, uh, the video recording in this format, so, as I'm probably going to explain when I do my intro, uh, because I'm recording this before I do my intro, the first half of this video is going to be sideways, but you guys could probably adjust to that. But the rest of this tour will be this way, um, so we're now going to go, uh, into the gaming studio, which is in our basement. So, we're going to go down into the mines of... Of, uh, the basement? <laughs> we, we be up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so, at first it looks like a normal basement. You got the standard, uh, circuit board, you got the washer and dryer, but then, lo and behold! Oh, trying my best to do the Halo theme and failing. Alright. Well, at first we're gonna have basically our video games up here. Well, not video games, board games. And this is our board and card game section right here. And also, here is Andrew. Say hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> and this, and I'm not oh, sure if you, what, you guys are Gundam fans, but I'm a huge fan of Mobile Fighter G Gundam, so these are all my collectible Gundams. Yeah, all his Gundam figures, which actually, oh, I need better lighting here. Can't really do trying to, much trying to get better good lighting, lighting here, but you can kind of see them. Sorry, some of it's kind of shadowed by the phone itself here, but that's pretty much all his Gundam. So he's also got these vintage uh, bottles up here. Which this one's a Gettysburg one, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we have a bunch of board and card games. And also a random bunch of Frisbees right there. Um, and yeah, and here's the cool thing. And also a heated blanket right there, I might add as well. Um, but yeah, so the cool thing is... You want to hit that light over there, Hamilton? No problem. So this table right here is going to be the table for board and card games. Um, as you can see, we got two uh, play mats currently on it. This is of the Bofuri anime, which is a very adorable anime if you guys have never seen it. Oh, and by the way, this is where I store my pin for my elven cloak. I don't think that's going to stay there, but temporarily it's on the table. Um, so when you guys redeem the elven cloak in my streams, the pin that connects it is currently inside that Lord of the Rings box. Um, we have Goblin Slayer, Goblin Slayer playmat for my white sports cards. So that's pretty cool. And then over here... It currently has nothing in it, but this is a nice display case for a dart board. So we can have the darts and whatnot up top and the dart board down below so we can play darts over the table. And the reason we're putting it there is because, well, per the table prevents cheating. <laughs> so, pretty well, let's clever. Let's run up on the table. We really don't want any broken things. So let's have some table matters, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, and then over here, we currently only have, we're still decorating down here. We currently have two anime posters, My Hero Academia and Akame Gakil, right there, which Akame is kind of looking at the cast of My Hero Academia over here. Kind of disgustingly as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, which I'm going to, actually I'll do that last, because that's going to apply to you guys the most. But then over here, we have the console area. So the console area um, is mostly done, except for eventually this TV here is going to go on top of here, so we're going to have two TVs on this side. Because um, that will fit up there. We've done the measurements. And then a new TV will go over here. So currently, this is uh, Hamilton's section where he currently has his PlayStation hooked up with some Genshin Impact, as you can see currently on the TV. Um, and also, while I'm over here, first I will show the posters on the wall. We got Combat Evolved Anniversary. We have two posters, both from Fallout. So we got the new Coca Cola poster, and then we got the Vault right here. The Vault leveling system. We have the vault leveling system. And then we have the Witcher, which that poster's pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Say hello, Paimon. Um, <laughs> and that's falling over. <laughs> I just uh, hit this. So we're going to get these two so we can have uh, drinks and whatnot down here. Just hopefully I don't back into one like I just did. <clears throat> anyway, so you want to go over what's down here, Hamilton? So right there is actually my Lincoln display, since my favorite president is Abraham Lincoln, so that's all that is right over there. Below there is just some knickknacks, basically. Anything from Bionicle, Destiny, Star Wars, Godzilla, and 
The rest of that from here is most of the older consoles. And the Lego uh, Jango Fett there. Yep, part of the Star Wars. And you can see Cade 6 from Destiny right there. Mm-hmm. The, bio the Bionicles is... The Mask of Light is the one in the gold, and one in the blue is... is um, how, I think it was Tali from the original Bionicle Mask of Light movie, which was going all the way back to 2001, which is yep. old for us. And we do have the vintage uh, Godzilla and Destroyer figures, too, right there. Yep, so that's pretty awesome. And, uh, and then uh, on this side... We have currently where Andrew does his gaming with his Xbox, so he was just playing Borderlands not long ago. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we currently, we have drinks everywhere right now, but this is kind of because we just went shopping today. Um, but yeah, we have a nice little uh, refrigerator under here, so people can grab sodas and, you know, tea and whatnot from under there, or, or uh, beer, wine, or whatever. And uh, yeah, so I'm currently sitting on the couch that you'll be able to sit on, and we can have two uh, two TVs eventually going on here at the same time. So two, so eventually you will be able to play like three different consoles at the same time down here, which is going to be pretty awesome. Also, you want to show off your nice lazy boy you got today, Hamilton? Oh yes. So this is a nice lazy boy recliner chair. So if any of you guys like playing with your controller, all you got to do is lift this baby up, <coughs> lock yourself up. Relax, play, and once you get tired at the end of the day, you just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then over here, we have this couch, which is going to be used for this side. Um, and yeah, that couch is very comfortable. I actually fell asleep on that last night, totally by accident, but it happened. And then, here's the cool part, the wall. This wall is pretty awesome. We have, currently, so these maps over here, uh, you want to explain them? Yeah, the maps are basically from the land of Tamriel. So we have obviously one of the most played RPG games ever, Skyrim on top, and then with Oblivion's game, Cyrodiil, it will be on the bottom, because that's what's part of the original map. Middle is Cyrodiil, top is Skyrim, and then we have obviously Morrowind's that go over here, and then Hammerfell somewhere on over here. And, and then... The big one, the middle, map of Middle-earth, it's a giant tapestry. With two shields on both sides, a shield of a dragon, which I got at our local Renaissance Fair about uh, two years ago, before COVID hit. Otherwise, we would have gone last year. And this, which I got at a Lego store, like back when I was in middle school, and I still have it. So, and it turned out really cool with the two shields holding like the Middle Earth tapestry. It looks really cool. And then over here, we have a freaking map from Red Dead Redemption. Yeehaw! <laughs> so, yep. Got that nice, nice in there, right over here. Got my nice country action going for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we drop the action and get on to more stuff. I have my other collection, which is mostly video games. Yep, so he's got, well, yeah, PlayStation on the bottom I here. Xbox 360 on top, going down to the PS3, PS2, and PS4, and Xbox One on the bottom. Yep, and Andrew's got his own gaming collection, and you guys know I'm a PC gamer, so I got everything on my PC. Which, speaking of which... Here is my new streaming setup. Obviously, there's room to grow over here. Um, but right now, as you can see, we have a mic, thanks to my friend Robert, um, that he's uh, currently letting me use until I can get my own mic. And we got a nice sound system, thanks to Hamilton here, which works real nice. So I actually, I don't always need to use my headset anymore to stream. I can actually just use the mic in the sound system, which is gonna be nice. I got, I did a little minor upgrades to my computer. Um, which currently Spotify's up because I was playing music when we were decorating down here earlier, so I'll just close that. And uh, you can see my nice animated Genshin Impact background there. I got a little Klee sticker on, which I actually have another one on the top with her making a different face. And also Maple Shield from Bofuri right there. And my logo, which my logo uh, will be getting redone soon by a certain awesome guy named Decent LP that some of you may know. Let me just look my computer screen up there. There we go. Um, but in the meantime, I still love my uh, classic logo until I get it upgraded. Um, but yeah, so I can't wait to stream from here. It's going to be a lot of fun. We had to do some crazy work to get this going, though. Because as you can see, this Ethernet cable kind of ends up going all the way around through this door, through the stairs, and up to the router upstairs, which is a ton of work. But it, we, it was tricky, but we got it. And then we have this strip on the floor is actually a power cord because there's only one outlet down here, which that outlet is right there. So the, that outlet is pretty much fueling everything over here. And then uh, this actually goes all the way upstairs to a different outlet. And this is actually like a, I think it was, it's like a 35 foot extension cable. 
and it goes all the way down to this, which is meant for outdoor year use. So this has enough plugs for me to have everything hooked up for the gaming computer and still a little more to spare because like we got this power strip from Home Depot. So uh, we can have like another computer or two other computers hooked up over here as well. And yeah, that's pretty much the tour. We do have an upstairs, but the up uh, needs the most work and plus that's, you know, more personal stuff up there. I may do a tour of my own room at some point. Um, but that's to come in. I will do a tour of the stairs going upstairs when we get uh, everything uh, done up there. Um, and uh, this guy right over here has a bunch of swords that are going to be going upstairs if you want to tell them about that. What we're doing is we're basically having like a sword decorative stair piece. So we're going to have swords basically lining up going up the stairs basically. We have at least, I believe, two Lord of the Rings swords. We have a Narnia sword and two gaming swords which is from Actually, no, one of them is anime. One of them is Trunks' sword from Dragon Ball Z, and the other one is from Assassin's Creed, Altair's sword. Yep. But um, it's going to be a nice display. It's going to be, it's going to show more of our decorative, um, some of the things we love. Definitely. So uh, there's a lot to look forward to, and I'll definitely keep you updated as we continue to upgrade and decorate. But uh, yeah, with this video, this pretty much concludes the house tour, and from here on, you guys will see me be returning to Twitch and YouTube actively yet again. So I think we're going to end here. Um, make sure you like and follow both my YouTube and Twitch, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of our changes, and uh, yeah, as I said, we'll keep you guys updated as we continue to build and customize everything. And uh, I will end you with also a little teaser of some more stuff I'm going to decorate my streaming area with. We're going to have this shield hero tapestry right here because I'm going to hang up once the clips come in from Amazon and we got I got uh, the Bofuri special edition recently so I got some nice art cards from Bofuri that I'm going to be uh, hanging up and I also got more shield hero cards and I do have some demon slayer ones coming in as well so that's going to be nice to hang up and decorate this area with so yeah in the meantime give us a fond farewell Hamilton it has been a pleasure meeting you gentlemen and ladies have a great night, and farewell. Alright. Fun little bonus here, folks. Just because I know some of you are Titanfall fans, you might like Hamilton's Xbox here. It's a Titanfall Xbox, which... Wait, where's your controller? Oh, right there. Yeah, Titanfall. Also, it's got that Titanfall symbol that looks strangely like the Apex... Oh, Apex Legends. All right, so that was a tour, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. We have a lot of exciting stuff going on here. Uh, we got probably a good two-thirds of the place done, um, and the other third is should be hopefully done between now and August, uh, depending on how our finances go and uh, just how everything goes uh, with the place and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited, and uh, I'm excited for you guys to see this place grow over the next year, and hopefully by this time next year, it will be fully to where we want it, and it'll just be an awesome hangout spot, um, and a place, an awesome place for uh, those of you that watch my streams, and even the few times I do make YouTube videos, uh, that you guys will enjoy it as well. Um, which, uh, but speaking of which, we're quickly going to cover all the changes that are coming. To both Twitch and YouTube uh, for a room gaming. So, first of all, YouTube wise, I'm going to hit all the people that may or may not, because I don't think I have many, if any, but if anyone out there is more active on my YouTube than my Twitch, um, you guys will be excited because more YouTube content will be coming um, because I may be doing not one, but two podcasts. Um, one podcast is in question because I still have to talk to the two guys in it, but we did record the first episode. Um, and that's a podcast with Great Storm and Sword of Asley. Um, I gotta see if they're still on board to continue that, but I definitely am if they are. Um, and then there's one that I'm probably gonna be doing IRL, um, with Hamilton, probably my friend Robert, maybe, uh, our mutual friend Frank, um, a few other people, um, and that podcast will probably cover games and anime. Um, the podcast with Sword of Asley and Great Storm will just cover literally anything, <laughs> including games and anime, but probably a lot of other stuff too, um, while the other one would just be strictly probably gaming and anime. Um, but yeah, in that podcast, if that ends up happening, which we're very much leaning toward that right now, that will be recorded right over to what is my right, 
going to be to the left for you guys at the uh, table for board and card games. And uh, we'll have it like a table table side podcast. It'll be really cool. We already have a mic that we can use for it. Uh, we just got to figure out the camera work and how that's going to be recorded and whatnot. But if we can do that, uh, that'll be cool. We might even figure out how to do live streams, uh, tabletop live streams and whatnot. That would be pretty fun. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely one change that's coming. Another change that's coming is, um, well, there's a bunch of changes coming to my Twitch channel. And I'm going to go over those right now with you guys because there's a lot of them. And I think you guys will be excited about what's coming. So I'm going to be editing the channel points. So my redeemables, I kind of went through all of them. Um, and I realized that there's a lot of changes that can be made to them. Uh, between some stuff that costs less, probably pushed up to more because it's been getting redeemed a ridiculous amount of my streams. The stuff that's a little expensive, that never gets redeemed, probably made cheaper so people redeem it more. I'm going to remove, I think, two things from the channel points and add a few new things that have never been in there before. So there's going to be a whole rework on the channel points. It's still going to be Leaves of Lorien um, for the points, but the rewards will be uh, edited quite extensively by the time my first stream comes around. Um, another thing that will be edited by the time my first stream comes around, um, which uh, hopefully will be within a week of this video getting posted to YouTube, by the way. Um, but another change that's coming is Streamlabs Bot. So I'm going to be full reworking Streamlabs Bot. <clears throat> it's still going to have a few of the same things that it used to say there, but it's going to have a few new things. Um, a few announcements that I will make on this uh, YouTube video will be cycling through Streambot. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll just I'll also see if I can edit some new commands in the Streambot edit the edit settings with that and mess around with it um another thing is that i will finally <laughs> finally be adding sound alerts which is something i've been too lazy to do but i'm going to be working on that um so hopefully i i i doubt i'll have that all ready by my first stream back but hopefully by the end of april i will have full sound alerts like you see on most streamers um, streams where they have, you know, a good 10 to 30 sound alerts that people can spend bits or play for free. Um, and I, I, against my better judgment, <clears throat> I, uh, I may or may not be adding a jump scare. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> um, so another thing, another change that's coming is financially, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, this financial change is going to pretty much be that any money that I get back from Twitch is going right back to the community. Um, I'm going to be having a budget, and pretty much any money I get through donations or my Twitch payout or anything of that is going to go back divided between stuff to uh, help improve the stream quality, um, such as paying... Uh, paying commissioners to redo some of the stream UI or make new emotes for you guys um, or maybe some of that money will go to new games say you guys want me to play a game that costs money and I can if you guys if the money keeps rolling in through twitch payout and you guys donating and whatnot then I can I can start budgeting money aside to play games and probably the biggest one and the one I think all of you will be the most excited about is I will finally be doing giveaways so I'm going to be saying about half of the money aside from everything I get to go back to you guys in the form of giveaways. So I'm sure you guys will be very excited about that. Um, also, having this budget is going to help me too because um, I am going to be cutting back extensively on the money I spend on gaming through my normal job because um, I'm going to be using a lot of that money for more important stuff, especially now that I moved out on my own. Um, so all the money that's really going to go to gaming will be from streaming and YouTube and whatnot, um, which makes um, you guys helping out financially not only more important to me, but more important to you guys because the more you give, the more you get, sort of a thing. Um, so that's a fun thing that we'll be doing. Um, another thing is uh, Terumi is going to be more important. If you guys know, I had Dita's, Dita's Plays Amazing Wife Nans made uh, me a stream avatar, Terumi. And uh, currently, <clears throat> other than adding her for decoration purposes, she hasn't really been, um, you know, much, very prevalent in the streams. That is going to change. Um, 
starting, I'm, I I got a lot of work being done on her behind the scenes. I don't know when all that's going to get done. I have Terumi emotes coming. Um, I have uh, the amazing man, Decent LP, um, whose schedule is very busy. But he is working on animating Terumi, so I can have her like animated in the corner of the screen. Um, and he's also working on a bunch of uh, new UI for the stream, so like we'll have all new UI eventually when he gets done with that, which is going to be cool. Um, in the meantime, we'll just roll with what we got. But, <clears throat> that being said, Terumi is still going to be more important. Um, she's going to be on a lot more transitions and intro screens. Um, I will try to um, implement her more into my stream, um, including with a redeem that's coming. Um, when I figure out how to properly implement it, <coughs> which who knows, by the time you guys see me stream, I may have figured that out. Um, I'm still working some kinks out with that. Um, but we'll figure that out. But I'll, pretty much Terumi's going to be becoming very important to the stream. Um, and um, the other change you guys may have seen is this. I now have a mic and a sound system. So I don't always need to be wearing my headset anymore. I really only need to be wearing it when like something is maybe going on down here or um, right upstairs in the movie area that I don't want to disturb too much with sound. Um, but <coughs> I think mostly this will be a positive change um, because uh, my friend Robert, who is awesome, he's temporarily letting me use this mic until I can buy a new one. Um, and we're going to use my dad's old studio mic for probably the podcast, which is cool, that I, that I was trying to hook up to my laptop back in my dad's place when I was streaming there, and I could never figure it out. Um, but yeah, so we got the, this nice blue snowball mic, and we have a nice uh, Logitech sound system now to hooked up to my gaming laptop. And yeah, it's, it's pretty sick. I'm pretty excited. Um, and I think that's about it for now. Um... We will be getting back to streaming, like I said, within the first two weeks of April. Hopefully within the first week, like right off the bat. Um, and yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of collabs. I already know the streamers I'm going to be hitting up. And some of you streamers I probably am going to, or will have by the time you're watching this, have sent the video to you to see first. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be doing some collabs. I'll be playing a lot of the games that you guys have sent the most feedback back to my channel that you enjoy seeing watching me play which uh, <laughs> at this point is pretty much divided between uh, MMO, MMOs especially fantasy and uh, and anime games um, so that's definitely going to be the priority going forward is between fantasy and anime especially Lord of the Rings for fantasy like Lord of the Rings Online um, and uh, yeah we'll just go from there but yeah so we're going to end the video here and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on Twitch within, hopefully within a week of make of this video going uh, out across the internet. Um, if not this week, it will most definitely be next week though. Um, but yeah, so keep a lookout for that first stream. I will be doing an announcement in my Discord, which I will have a link below if you guys are not in the Discord, so you can join. And uh, yeah, so keep a lookout in the Discord. Uh, keep a look out across my social media and uh, yeah that first stream announcement will officially be coming soon and uh, it feels amazing to finally be back after almost I think around a month away maybe a little more uh, from streaming so yeah make sure you like the video comment give your thoughts below subscribe go follow me on twitch and uh, I will catch you guys later until then Live long and prosper. Aurora now. The test video over. Repeat, this is a test video, and that is a Hilton right there. Now I'm touching the water, and it's hot!